welcome back to my channel today's video is a video that is going to be really helpful for you guys especially right now with the coronavirus going on and it's really affecting all parts of the world and there's so many areas of our home that we're constantly touching that we're not even thinking about and so in this video i'm going to share with you guys areas in your home that you should be disinfecting and you probably are not and if you are kudos to you but some of these areas or items in my home I never even thought about and others I disinfect every time I clean. So if there are any areas in your home that you're disinfecting that you think are really important to disinfect, leave those in the comments below. I would love to hear about what you guys are doing to stay on top of this coronavirus pandemic and to keep your family healthy and safe and so with all that said we're going to go ahead and jump into the first area in your home that you should be disinfecting. So our hand soap and disinfectants are items that we always grab to clean other areas with, but how often do we think to stop and actually wipe them down? And so if you haven't done so already, here's a reminder, just go ahead and give your soaps and cleaning sprays a wipe down. Next is going to be appliances. We touch these all the time, you guys, so make sure that you wipe them down and disinfect, especially the handles because the handles are usually what we tend to grab the most. So I always clean our handrails because we're constantly grabbing them and we have small children. I must have done this, I don't know, a couple weeks ago and I was disgusted and so was my husband with how filthy our handrail was. I couldn't even believe it. The Clorox wipe was completely black. So make sure you are wiping down your handrails on top. On the sides and on the bottom you can just see my face of disgust as I'm doing this because it was just so gross and on top of that I'm going to wipe down the walls because like I said we have small children and sometimes they go down the steps touching the walls and so the walls get dirty and so germy you will want to make sure that your paint is the type of paint that you can wipe with a Clorox wipe um, I wouldn't want you guys to wipe and mess up your paint. So if it is wipeable paint, go ahead and wipe 
your walls down, you will be unpleasantly surprised at how gross they are or can be. So our baby gates are something that we touch all the time and so I regularly wipe these down but since I was disinfecting everything I decided to wipe the baby gate down again. It doesn't hurt especially right now with all the germs going around. It is so important to just keep everything clean and disinfect it especially when you have small children that put things in their mouth. So I'm actually embarrassed to say, but I've never wiped down the handles or the little leash clip on the dog leash. Comment below if you guys sanitize your dog leash. And I mean, it makes sense because you're touching it every day, several times a day. So yeah, that's something that I never even thought about. And then here I'm cleaning the remotes. I do this all the time. We're constantly touching them. So I make sure that they're always wiped down. And then another thing that I never thought about was to wipe down the handle and the buttons on my vacuum cleaner. I always clean the inside of it, but I never wipe down the handle. And think about it, I'm touching it almost every day. I have been disinfecting everything with Clorox wipes and for the electronics I'm using these Windex wipes that I got at Target.
another area of your home that you may not be disinfecting is game controllers. So if you guys have an Xbox or a PlayStation or anything like that in your home, you do want to give these a good wipe down because think about how much you touch them. They're extremely germy. And so I just take a Clorox disinfectant wipe and give it a quick wipe down so that there's no germs. Takes all of about three seconds. Let it air dry and voila. More electronics. Here's my laptop. I have the electronic wipes that I actually wipe down the inside of the computer with, but I'm just gonna give it a really quick wipe down with the Clorox wipe on the outside, along all sides, and then and if you open it up, just give it a quick wipe down. Yeah, Let it air dry, and then all the germs are gone. Okay, another area in your home that you're probably not thinking about disinfecting is chargers. How many times a day do we grab, for, grab a charger? And how many times have you cleaned your charger? Probably never. So we're constantly touching them. Make sure it's unplugged so you don't like shock yourself, obviously. But we're constantly grabbing them and touching them. So it takes three seconds. So just give it a good wipe down. And then the germs are no more. so much for watching this video. I hope this video gave you guys ideas for areas in your home that you should be disinfecting that you're not or areas in your home that you never even thought about. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time that I upload a video. And again, thank you guys so much for your support. I hope that you and your family are staying healthy and safe during this crazy time. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.